Send. Alright, call in allies. Yes. And I want everybody. Bring them all. Everybody pile into here. Actually, we might need to... So I make sure I don't get my stuff run over by his big stack. Let's group up down here instead. Alright, he said yes. Great. Let's turn the speed down a bit. All right, not bad. We're going to have 10,000 troops. Got that 8,000 army. Oop, he's taking on my ally. I need to merge and get up there as quick as I can. I don't think I'm going to get there before that fight's over, but hopefully I can hit him before he gets reinforced or uh, resupplied. Oh, my ally's getting hurt. Hold on. I'm coming. Nope, not going to hold on long enough. Ah, damn it. Couldn't hold him in place for me long enough. I need to catch that army. Keep going. Catch that army. Alright, big victory. 75 war score, 48 prestige, 24 honor, and some tech points. Alright, we're not getting any uh, problem with starvation. Siege it down real quick and then uh, head south. I want to make sure I take the territories. Oops, one more. Buddy's reinforcing. Alright, so we got that. Eighty-six percent already. I'm just going to go for a straight, try to quick siege all three of the territories in the duchy, as well as the uh, Berkshire. And I'm, nah, I'm debating splitting the army. Um, he's up to eleven hundred. There is he. Come on, finish the siege. Great. And <laughs> now he did a quick, successful claim on Botus. But I've already got... Uh, let that one go. I need to pull him off of there. Come here, you. Chancellor, go improve, improve relations down here. Alright. Uh, that would be my ally, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Come on, finish this siege. Alright, 
now. Go smash the hell out of that army real fast. Great. And back to finish sieging. down and get the last of the duchy. Hopefully I can get that siege before he gets a reinforcement army down here. We're already at 100%. Uh, I could probably just call it, but let's siege anyway. Smashing that big initial army was uh, really, really helpful. It helps that he's also got to fight this guy, so they're probably blocking his reinforcement armies from coming over to try to do anything. Oh, I need another commander, do I? Um, sure. Come on, Siege. I did get the level 3 Siege equipment. I don't think I have that many of that. It uh, looks like, yep, he just took another territory. That probably ended that fight. Yay, raise that opinion. Alright, the, the tough one's about to go down. And these next two should go quicker. Now... He sends reinforcement armies up. He's got to go through my ally, probably. Although some of his armies down here with me. Come on, finish it up. Some cash and some honor. One more. No sign of any dangerous reinforcing armies coming around the peninsula. All right, let's do this one just because. Oh, it's actually... Probably should have looked at that a little closer. Defeat where? Because of what? <laughs> huh. Um, let's. Make a new unit. Well, that's not amusing.
<laughs> Activity in the Beast Boy area there. Beast Boy Revolt, that's what I like to see. Lots and lots of revolts for the Beast Boys. All right. I think he's landing boats, is what he's uh, they're doing, is getting uh, naval invasions to bring troops over. All right, come on, finish these up. I wanted a nice, quick war. All right, great, that's done. Now I can just go squ finish squatching this, and we're all set. I'd like to hand me some easy victories up there. Tempted to roll the army around and go uh, stomp on his main... Oh, don't care. Stomp on his main territory. I believe I have to re-siege this stuff. Okay. Uh, we've got everything that I cared about under my control. I don't care about this Anaxia place. Um, let's go ahead and end this. So, if we offer peace and force demands, we are going to gain the Duchy of Kepra. I won't get Bersher, but uh, that's fine. Usurp the title of Thane Hold of Capra. Okay. Awesome. Finally got to do that. These are all pretty good territories. 12, 12, 12 for development. 12, 12, 12. And 13, 16, 14. So, still got that one to go to make it a sweep. We'll use that as our excuse for our next war. And. Let's go ahead and disband. Not being in friendly territory? Alright, fine. Move, move south a little bit, then we'll disband. Yay! Alright, hold on. Um, no. I am threatening. Don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that momentarily. Uh, choose an ambition. What do we got? Win a war, family focus. Or no, win a war is my only choice. Alright, just waiting for you guys to get down here. Ah! <laughs> Scuddy had inherited the introduced the bar to the court. I told him how much I appreciated that. Cool. Oh yes. Come on, break apart, Beast Boy. Break apart. Rise of the Ormazdic Caliphate again. Alright, everybody back home. Alright, I'm much happier now. We've made some progress. We got some good coastal territories away from the Myrmidons. They are just about kicked off of this side of the uh, ocean inlet. And the Beast Boys look like they are finally breaking up. Beast Boy Revolt. We got lots of revolts going on. Oh, it'll be so nice once these things... If this breaks up, then I'm going to have a lot more options to actually get some interesting stuff done. So I won't feel as trapped. Because I can make war against the orcs, any of the greenskins, I can go to war with at a draw, uh, moment's notice. I don't have to have my chancellor risking getting caught and executed in foreign lands in order to uh, fight the orcs. 
the territory sucks, but uh, I can be warring against them constantly. I just need them to get a little bit smaller. That one group is just way too big. What's he looking at? Yeah, look at all these. Defending against, defending against, hostile. Ah, oh, Mad Gang's coming after him. Wait, oh, Mad Gang, yeah. So Mad Gang's coming after him. He's got internal revolts. Blood Chop's pretty big, and they're in the area. So I'm really excited to see this. This makes me super happy. This makes me super happy. And Kemri not coming north makes me happy. Ooh, look at this. Where are you up to, King Cetra? You are attacking War Boss Ogret. Kemri and Reclamation of Tamara. Uh, where would that be occurring? The Ogret down here. Yeah, right there. Alright, so he's fighting to the south. That's good news. So all around good news. And now... I don't want to be... Hmm... I can actually create the Kingdom of Magnata now. Um, I haven't played enough Crusader Kings in too long a time. I'm not sure if holding multiple King titles is going to be bad. Because I'm already King of Ekrend if I create the Kingdom of Magnata. And I'm not too far off. I can form Kurnok. If I take out the Black Fang here, I could easily form Kurnok as well. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to have a truce with the Myrmidons for a while. I've got a border with uh, the Knidus Orcs. Um, like I said, I can go against them any time. The territory pretty much sucks. I think I'm going to give it a little more, more time for this to break up a little further, see what happens with some of this, and then make a decision. So I don't want to go to war right away. So let's um, not form the kingdom. I don't see a benefit to doing that immediately. Yeah, I got people joining Defensive Pact against me as well. And I don't care about that. Alright, let's keep going. We've got a few more viewers joining in. So if you haven't seen it before, this is uh, Crusader Kings 2 with the Warhammer Geheimnis Knocked mod. Complete total conversion mod. Uh, it recreates the entire Warhammer Fantasy roleplay game world. Um, so huge game world, huge number of races and changes to the gameplay. Um, so I'm playing just this starty, starting tiny nation of the dwarves in Ekrem. Peasants have revolted. All right, not too surprising. And a green skin uprising at the same time. Interesting. Let's. Um, uh, let me finish my explanation before we deal with that. So, got it paused. So, as you can see, the game world, uh, if you don't know anything about Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, it's uh, loosely based on the real world. So, you got mainland Europe uh, with uh, Britonia, um, the Britons, not on their little island, but mostly in the uh, mainland. These are more Germanic cultures here. Uh, Sylvania is where the vampire counts rose up and took over most of the uh, empires of man before they managed to kill the uh, vampire count and uh, reclaim the territory. We got the Chaos Wastelands to the east where a bunch of Chaos Dwarves and Ogres and Goblins and Orcs are fighting it out. You got the Northern Wastes. This is the island of the Light Elves, and the Dark Evil Elves are off on the uh, northern continent over here. And they're trying to get strong enough to retake their elven homeland from the Light Elves. South America is full of a bunch of uh, lizard and other types of creatures. 
You got the Skaven Rat Clans fighting it out in the underworld area uh, for control there. You've got the Undead Mummy Lords due south of me. These are the guys that scare me the most. The Orcs can usually be relied on to fragment, and that's what's happening now, is this big Orc Clan that developed is finally falling apart. Um, and I'll be free to do a little bit more actions over there. I've been kind of in a holding mode for the last 20 years or so of gameplay because I can't do anything about the south. I've just been trying to keep him as happy as I can so he doesn't push north. And I've been waiting for this huge orc clan to finally break up because he was way too big for me to try to deal with. Um, I prefer to fight in my mountain fastnesses and the territory out here just sucks. It's all wasteland and marshland, so it has almost no economic value, and it's just really hard for me to take over from the greenskins because I have to cleanse them and dig them out of their various holds, and it takes forever, and it just is a huge drain on my income in order to try to do it. But I've got to do that if I want to get over to the mountains over here and reclaim these mountain areas that used to be dwarven holdings from the uh, goblins and orcs that are currently infesting them. I've got allies, uh, dwarven allies here, dwarven allies here, and I think there's some scattered up in here if they haven't been overrun. Yep, that group is still alive. They're still alive. And it looks like the whole spine here is all dwarven, but these are goblins in this area. So, that's kind of the situation as it stands. I just finished a war against the Myrmidons here. I took a couple of territories, just got that one last one to get rested from them. And then I can focus on the Orcs, as long as I can keep the Undead Mummy Lords. If King Cetra the Imperishable will just stay down south uh, and leave me alone, that would be awesome, because I would not win a fight against him. So that's kind of the situation, and... Uh, I've got this little fight going on, so let's bring up some levees here. Uh, everybody group up right here. And we'll let it continue. Game speed. And let's make another save. I'm pretty paranoid. I've had a few uh, crashes earlier, so... All right, let's keep going. And we'll try bumping the speed up. Yay, left the defensive pact. <laughs> Who's actually fighting this fight for me? Oh, defensive pact's gone. <laughs> the Myrmidons are fighting my rebels. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, you guys can all go home. Defensive Pact is gone. Oh yeah, whoops, I forgot to check. Uh, I'm still under my domain limit, cool. Alright, so I need to... Oh, that's right, I inherited the duchy, so... I don't really want Botus in my domain. I had lost that one because I had to give it to my idiot grandson. Now I've gained Botus. That one was already somebody else, and then these guys I just inherited. Alright, so pretty unhappy with me. That'll clear up over time. Somewhat. It's going to take quite a while. Um, where does it show the modifiers again? They're going to be pretty unhappy with me for a while, I thought. No? Doesn't show any modifiers there. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ubus doesn't, but this one's got... Oh, greenskins. Oh, crap. Alright. I need to help this guy get rid of the greenskins. So if we look at uh, religions, probably the easiest way. So yeah, greenskin. This one is Myrmidon. Alright, so you... How much money you got? You got no money. Here, have some money. Send a gift. Send a gift. 
How much money you got now? Well, keep sending you money. Alright, you got 60. I think that's enough. We'll do one more. I need him to purge the green skins, and it's going to cost him money to do that. So we'll fund him for a while until he gets rid of the green skin hideouts. This one doesn't have any of the negatives, neither do they. Wrong religion, though. I've got my priest converting down here in Rothera currently. So it's going to take a while to get everything converted. Okay, so that'll take care of that. Do I want to hand Botus off? Uh, duchy, it's all one duchy location. Who's in charge down there now? Lord Bradney of Michael. Let's hand that off to Lord Bradney, too. Actually, let's look at... Now, let's just do that. Grant Lad title. Uh, older Lotus. All right. Alright, I'm not going to create that title. And I think that will take care of it. I'm still under my domain size. Alright, let's let some time pass. So, what's our next goal? We finally got the uh, war with the Myrmidons kicked off and we accomplished what we wanted to there. Really happy that after waiting for, God, it took, what, a decade to get that stupid uh, Causes Belli to fire off? That's fine. That's your business. Um, he actually uh, formed the uh, Causes Belli for the duchy instead of just the territory, which was awesome. Yeah, yeah, family first. So that allowed us to take the territories. Um, yep. And we've still got one more territory to take once the uh, truce wears off. Thought I had a truce with him. Do I not have a truce with them? Oops, wrong button. Clear war. I'm not doing a holy war. I'm not doing a tributary. So I'd have to set up another. Uh, uh, no, I need to focus on the orcs. That's my big goal. I want to accumulate some money, make sure I have a good stockpile, because I'm going to have to be feeding a lot of money to my vassals in order to convert this stuff. Um, this doesn't give me any contiguous connection to the mountains. I need to get to this, basically. So 